Safety has been a core issue since the introduction of AI. In fact, not long ago, we saw a petition that went viral with signatories such as Elon Musk calling for a six-month truce on the advancement of AI. But so far, it seems pretty much that the whole issue has been neglected to a large extent. We've had the most insane growth in AI development, such that each new day comes with new tidings. However, it seems we have arrived at a point where we can't just look the other way anymore. AI has been equipped with some of the most insane features and it can only get better from here. As a matter of fact, we're now looking forward to reaching AGI with the present development and there are now talks of super intelligence. The level of AGI, which is still very much being anticipated, looks at a point where AI can be able to perform tasks along the same line as human capabilities. AI superintelligence, on the other hand, is a whole crazy concept on its own, and the worry now is how long will it remain just a concept. AI superintelligence, as you might have guessed, suggests the point where AI is able to do things that can't be done by humans basically surpassing human capabilities and is most likely out of the control of humans too. Now, experts have started exercising reasonable fear with regard to this and they're already calling for caution. Recently, we have seen this video of Sam Altman, CEO of OpenAI, before Congress talking about AI security. This should come as no surprise as the company OpenAI was originally dedicated to AI security back when Elon was part of the company. And the fact that this person is exercising this skepticism towards AI should have us all worried. I mean, OpenAI can be said to have started this blow up in the AI industry with ChatGPT, and they should know what is involved. And it is good these prominent AI firms are beginning to take security seriously. This is because the government is yet to immerse itself in the regulation of AI due to limited knowledge of the matter. And we see this in a blog post by Time, which is addressed in response to the AI revolution. And there are other interesting things in that post about the concerns on AI. In this video also, he makes reference to something interesting. He talks about how certainly AI will be taking up more roles that should ordinarily be filled by humans. I know the argument around this always circles back around to efficiency, but this might just be the point our problem will start blowing up. For Altman, the issue of employment can easily be sorted out with new innovations, as he pointed out in the video. But the area that seems to concern him the most is the aspect of safety for humans. And he admits that if left unchecked, AI might just do more harm than expected. Earlier, I did make mention of artificial superintelligence, and this might be the first time many will be hearing of it. Now, this takes its origin from a blog post on the OpenAI's official site titled Governance of Superintelligence. This article is co-published by three key executives at OpenAI, namely Sam Altman, Greg Brockman, and Ilya Sutskiver. And the introduction has something that is just mind-blowing. And this is because, in coming years, AI is likely to carry out operations that we require whole organizations to perform now. As crazy as that might sound, we are fast approaching that. Going further, they pointed out three key approaches that they think should be taken to mitigate the risks of super advanced AI systems. A risk that they have likened to be measured against a nuclear incident of biological warfare in the article. This automatically spells an existential threat at a much greater scale than we can imagine. Since it seems impossible to be talking about a total halt in the development of AI at the moment, the first point in the blog post is suggesting a precautionary measure instead. That paragraph was basically a call for more caution on the side of developers and the integration of safety measures to help monitor the rate of progress. And in the second point in the post, we see this continued equation of AI to nuclear energy, though in terms of regulation this time. They propose a regulatory body such as IAEA, but for AI. This is very, very necessary because leaving the regulation of AI in the hands of developers whose primary objective is profit might be dangerous. OpenAI suggests that this regulatory body be given the power to lay down rules that AI developers will answer to. And this is very important because imagine having rules that depict to what level development is expected to go and limits that shouldn't be exceeded and there is nobody there to make sure that they are followed. 
such a move will be as good as nothing. So it is very much commendable what OpenAI is proposing here. And we expect to see some positive move towards this in the coming months. And in the last part, OpenAI made a call for an inquiry into measures that can be put into place to ensure that the risks that are being projected by artificial superintelligence are contained. It reads here, Third, we need the technical capability to make a superintelligence safe. This is an open research question that we and others are putting a lot of effort into. It is really amazing that OpenAI is taking the issue of safety seriously at this point. This is very important because we are likely to get to a point where we lose total control of the systems we are now developing, and this could be very disastrous if not checked now. And the major issue in losing control is the wide reach these systems have and can easily destroy everything that they have been integrated into, which is nearly all aspects of our day-to-day -day activities. And the replication of learning in this system is the major issue, as pointed out by Dr. Jeffrey Hinton in an interview with the BBC. Earlier this year, in May, Dr. Jeffrey quit his position at Google and regretted the role that he had played in the development of AI, citing the dangers as the reason for the regrets. The vast information available to these systems at a time is the major issue he points to. With digital systems like that of AI, information is easily shared across different systems, which informs their activities. And Dr. Jeffrey thinks that there will become a time when the intelligence of AI will surpass human intelligence in many ways. And this is what Dr. Jeffrey is really worried about. And for a moment, let's move away from predictions of what might happen and look at what actually has happened. It is no longer news that individuals now have access to resources that enable them to design their own systems and train them. People have been doing amazing things with this access, but there's no telling what the impact might be when these resources are made available to bad human actors. A very terrifying instance is the case of an image of an explosion near the Pentagon. Looking at it, an unsuspecting eye will not see any problem, and this is exactly what happened. Leveraging the wide reach of verified handles on Twitter, the image spread within minutes, spreading panic across the country. And the impact of this singular act is more than you can imagine. This caused a serious drop in the stock market, which started to come back to normal after the authorities observed the image to be a deepfake. Now you see, this is just one of many reported deepfakes, even down to faking a celebrity's voice to make music. And when you really think about this, it is very scary. And to think we are still at what might be considered a developmental stage in AI makes it more terrifying. In fact, most companies haven't fully rolled out some of the features they have already announced, and we are already experiencing these things. Regulation is surely a way to go now. Earlier this year, OpenAI had sifted action as the main reason they are delaying the full rollout of ChatGPT5 and had later announced a release in phases to enable them to keep track. As a result, many think that OpenAI might just be cautious enough, but the issue now is that the competition might not be buying into the same approach. And no one is sure that OpenAI can hold on for much longer, given that they too have to remain relevant in the race. As OpenAI rightly pointed out in their blog post, which we saw earlier, the need for a centralized regulation is important. With the integration of different plugins into these models built by big tech companies like Microsoft and Google, we are witnessing a much wider spread of generative AI than we had in the past. Taking a look at the output of these programs is crucial, as there have been reported cases of fake information being created and transmitted via them. And that could be very much detrimental to structures in our societies, and many are looking forward to seeing how this will influence politics and other aspects in the coming months. Thanks for joining up for this episode, and we hope to see you again soon. Like and subscribe to the channel, and turn on notifications to be alerted when we post new videos.